Hello, my name is Miriam Supuma. I'm a conservationist from Papua New Guinea, and this is my story. Uh, the current threat to Papua New Guinea environment, apart from population growth, is the expansion of human activity into areas probably weren't seen before, into virgin forests. We need to understand how this upsets not only the ecosystem balance, but how it affects the you know, human interaction with the environment as well. So not having a sense of that would be just you know, blindly focusing on development. In 2004, uh, I came to James Cook University to pursue a master's in um, tropical rainforest ecology. One of the great things of James Cook University is that it's located in, in a place where you have the benefit of the Great Barrier Reef and the tropical rainforest. So it makes the learning experience um, all the more rewarding. What motivated me to apply for an Australian Award Scholarship to do my PhD was twofold. Firstly, I wanted to return to pursue my research interest. I have been in management for a while, and also in doing so, at the same time, learning skills in an Australian institution that will place me at the level that's on par with world standards. And you don't learn by reading, I think you learn by doing, and I think it's the, it's the experience that really, you know, experience of being able to, to apply what you're learning that really, um, how would I say, it, adds quality. Uh, my current thesis is on uh, the birds of paradise in uh, montane areas, their use and uh, habitat change, and looking at whether they should be conserved in the long term. I'm trying to draw from the scientific and um, the social science to see if in some way what's happening out there in the, in, in the environment, the landscape, is also in the minds of the, you know, the people. My family is from a province called uh, Simbu, Simbu province. It's a very mountainous province um, and it's well known for its resilient people. It's changing so fast. We now want to compete with the rest of the world and do what they're doing. And you know, we're forgetting our culture, which is more important, or, you know, that defines us as a people. For my research, the response I get from the people, they tell me that it's changed a lot, their landscape has changed a lot. Um, there's more, um, the population has increased in the villages. Some of the issues they're facing are shortage of land and some of the species of birds that they have seen are not as plentiful as they used to be. Now that they have influence from outside, you know, coming into the village at their doorsteps like road network, it's taking people away, especially the younger uh, members of the community outside of the village and not so much having their time to spend with the environment as they did in the past. We have been based um, for many years now in Port Moresby uh, city. You know, when you're moving from one location to another, you, you're pretty much leaving all your um, feathers and whatnot behind. The traditional costume, or we call it bilas, is the only link that you know, binds us to our land, our environment, you know, it's really, it defines you as a, as a people. If you don't have that, you know, it's, it's like you're walking around without a name or a face. I believe that my research can contribute to this uh, in ensuring that the local knowledge is kept alive in the community. If not by the local members, at least it's documented somewhere. <laughs>